Hello, my friends. I'm Lucas and you're watching Codemons PL. If you like my work, please remember to click thumb up, subscribe to my channel and write some comments. First of all, I would like to mention my wonderful patrons who support my activity. Massive thanks, guys. The people who help me the most are Bulldog09, Christopher Obarski, Dan Dibua, Dan Mike Shack, Hans Zapp, Karsten Ikedi and Steve Ankin. But the people listed just now are also my great patrons. They all believed in my passion, saw something valuable in it and decided to support me. It's really great when you know that there are a few crazy guys in the world who think like you, want to watch what you build and appreciate the effects of your work. This is really super motivating and gives me the strength to continue working. Please don't forget that you can be one of them. That's why in each episode I encourage you to support me in my passion. And I realize it's not easy these days, but if you have a few bucks you could drop in my cup, that would be great. Thanks! Today I would like to show you how to create a dust effect for a model that is in motion. For this I will use the model of Australian 8 to 8 Aslav vehicle, the construction of which I presented in my book published by AK Interactive. In addition to the presented model there is also Striker, Boxer, Rosamag, VBCI, ZTL11, Boomerang and Centauro. The book is published in the standard quality presented by this publisher for many years. Glossy paper, semi-soft cover, text in English and Polish, all on 175 pages of beautifully composed photos and descriptions showing the construction, painting, weathering and preparation of stands for almost all models. In the part devoted to the Aslav model you will find all stages of its implementation. If you are interested in what the whole book looks like, click on the link above which will redirect you to a quick review I have prepared earlier. The book is available in the AK Interactive online store, the direct link can be found in the description as well as in the good modeling stores around the world. Ok, so I made extensive modifications to the chassis which allowed it to tilt which is noticeable when the vehicle turns at high speed. Properly positioned front wheels completed the look and now the most important thing was to prepare the dust raised by the wheels. I usually forget about gloves but this time my memory wasn't failing and I did all the work separating my sweetie fingers from the finished model. I placed the model on a previously prepared stand and glued it with CA glue. I had some doubts about this solution but I had no other choice because using my favorite method of screwing the model to the base was not possible. Fortunately a few drops of glue under each wheel did the job and the model sticks to the surface well enough. I used regular cotton wool to build the dust. First I stretched a small piece with my fingers preparing it for painting. The well diluted buff paint was loaded into the airbrush and I slowly painted the cotton wool swirling it around and trying to get anywhere I needed it. Here you can see it speeded up just to save the time because, as you probably know, time is money. After painting I also stretched the cotton wool again because it decreased in volume while painting and turning. And now some pigment for extra dirt. On the one hand I wanted to complete the painting and on the other hand I hoped to leave particles of pigment between the cotton fibers which would imitate small stones thrown by the rotating wheels. And now I started placing the pieces of cotton wool prepared in this way near the wheels. 
I didn't use any glue for this, but I used the rough surface of the stand. Surprisingly, the fibers also grabbed onto the tire surfaces, which will be clearly visible for a moment. The whole work consisted of properly arranging the cotton wool, stretching it on the surface and shaping natural looking dust clouds. This job took some time, but by using two pairs of tweezers it was done quite efficiently and without any problems. To be honest, this is a very controversial solution and apart from showing good camouflage with vegetation, it's one of the few elements in modeling that it's quite difficult to show on a scale. The effect I achieved is exactly as you see. It's not perfect, but it seems to be the best I've ever used. I haven't found any better solutions on the internet and it seems to me that there are no better methods to prepare such an effect. It would be great to see what do you think about this idea. Can this solution be accepted or it's better to throw it into the trash? Or maybe you have some better ideas for making dust clouds? Please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe the channel. Finally, I added some pigment to the already formed dust clouds. This is what the entire model looks like in the appropriate lighting for the photo session I conducted for the book. That's all for today, see you next time, cheers!